in this video we are solving quasi 2020 core mathematics question 2 2 i'm going to take you to the question 2 a and then b now let's start with a make one the subject of the relation p is equal to 2x multiplying root k into 1 plus r square y square all over s now we have to make y the subject here so what we are going to do first here is that we are going to square both sides we're squaring both sides we are going to get p square is equal to 2x Multiplying root q into 1 plus r square over y square all over x all squared. Now, we are going to get p square over here. And then with this one, this square will multiply the first 2x. And then again multiply the one in the square root q into 1 plus r square all over y square all over s all squared now you are going to get p square is equal to 2x square we are going to get 4s squared and then this square will go in for the square root so this will go in for this it will left with Q into 1 plus R square all over oh, R square all over Y square all over X into bracket. Now, we are going to deal away with this denominator. So we are going to do that. We are going to do cross multiplication. This is over 1. So this will multiply this and then this will multiply this. So when we do that, we are going to get p square s is equal to when one multiply this one we are going to get the same thing 4 s square into q into 1 plus r square all over y square all into brackets now we are having two brackets over here so let's deal with the innermost one first so i'm going to get p square s is equal to 4 s square into q times 1 we are going to get q plus q times r square over y square we are going to get q r square over y square so now we are done with the innermost bracket let me clean this side And then again, let's multiply 4x square over here into this bracket. So, when we do that, we are going to get p square x is equal to 4x square times q. We are going to get 4s square q plus 4s square times this. We are going to get 4s square q r square all over y square now this is what we are having and then another denominator is here so let's do away with this denominator so the lcm here is y square we are going to multiply through with y y square y y square so that this y square will go away so when we do that i'm going to get p square s y square because we are going to multiply y square with this one and then multiply y square with, with this one also is equal to 4s square y square q plus when you multiply y square by this one this y square will go up we are going to get 4s square q r square now this is what we are having 
So we are going to do the terms with y to the other side and those without y to the other side. So we are going to transpose 4s square y square q to this side. So when we do that, we are going to get p square s y square minus 4s square y square q is equal to 4s square q r square. Now let me clean this side. Okay, so you're having y square y square here, so we make y square the subject. So when we do that, sorry, we are going to factorize y square out rather. So y square will come out, and then we are going to get p s p square x minus four s square q is equal to. 4s square q y 4s square q r square so this is what we are having to get y square we are going to divide both side by p square s minus 4s square q so y square is equal to 4s square q r square all over p square s minus 4 s square q you want y not y square so you are going to take square root of both sides so when we do that you are going to get y is equal to root of 4 s square q r square all over p square s minus 4s square q so that is what we had for y if we made the subject as the question required now we are now with a so let's move on to b given that m is equal to 3 n is equal to minus 2 and s is equal to negative 1 evaluate this so we are given m n and then x so what we have to do is that we have to just fix the value of m, n, and x into this expression. So when we do that, we are going to get 2 multiplying m here is 3. And then n is minus 2, minus 2 squared, because n is squared over here. And s is minus 1, all over 3m. m is 3 minus n n is minus 2 minus 2 now 2 times 3 is 6 negative 2 square is going to give us 4 times minus 1 all over 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 into minus 2 we are going to get plus 2 so 6 times 4 is going to give us 24 times minus 1 minus 24 and then 9 plus 2 is 11 so the answer for question number 2b is minus 24 by 11